हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एम स्काई आई एम यश विशा आई एम योर टू मेक योर एम रीच टू द स्काई Quickly subscribe my channel and without wasting much time let's start today's topic Today's topic standard 12 statistic part 2 chapter 1 probability What do you mean by probability Probability means the possibilities or the chances of occurrence in any event Yes any other idea write down in comment box i want to see i explain you what a probability is chance chance is very similar word to us we definitely use this word in saying yes there are 20% chances of getting this there are 99% chances of getting pass in exam But one person depend on a teacher's mood. Yes. Similar way, an unknown element upon which the occurrence or a non-occurrence of an event depend is called the chance. Every event is depend on chances. Any unknown element like a coin, its occurrence of head, or non-occurrence of head, of that event depend on chances. How much chance it contains. it shows that how much possibilities of having it occurrence there are five types of chances impossible chance if i want seven on a dice then it is impossible but if i want one on a dice then it is possible but it is unlikely one by six very lesser chances even chance 50 50% chance like a coin have 50% head 50% tail likely chance 4 by 5 much more numbers of so 4 by 5 is likely it can come easily in certain chance means a definite chance that that will come 110% i hope this concept is clear to you let's move on to next slide random event the event which depend on chance is called a random event the events we have explained a chance right all the events which are depend on chances are called random event who do not know what occurrence will come all the event are called a random event if they no occurrence then there will be a certain event right so it's simple to know what is a random event I explain you with an example head is obtained on a toss in a balanced coin So there are the chances of getting head or tail. So it is a random event. A card is drawn from a pack of fifty-two cards is a king of spade. There are fifty-two cards and one of them is a king of spade. So there is a chance of getting it also. So all these type of events are called a random events. Any doubts or queries? Then comment down below. I will definitely try to solve. Now what's next? Random experiment. Listen it carefully, student. It is very important topic in many tests comes in board exams. A random experiment can independently repeated. It is not dependent on anything, and they are independent and they are repeated under almost identical condition. They can repeat it many times, but conditions we know that what will be the outcome. Suppose I want to throw a dice. Three times, then I can do it repeatedly times. If I want to toss a coin six times, then I can do it. But the conditions means what the occurrence will come. I know that it is identical. All possible outcomes of that random experiment are known, but which of the outcome will occur cannot be predicted. We know all the outcomes of it, but we don't know which out which outcome will come when the Coin will come up, or when ice will stop. Before conducting the experiment, we have to do the experiment. Then only we will get to know what the answer is or what the result is. But we cannot predict it because there are many outcomes. But yes, the random experiment result into certain outcome. It will give us anything as an outcome definitely. It will not be like we will get null set. We will definitely get an outcome of. 
most probable event, right? So, characteristics of random experiment can ask in a paper. So, you can write identical condition, cannot be predicted, and the certain event, a short outcome. Now, sample space. The set of all possible outcomes of a random experiment is called a sample space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are a set of dice. All possible outcomes of random experiment. It's too easy to understand. If we take this spin's example, there are 8 possibilities, right? Then this all 8 are called the sample space of spinner. Okay. All possible outcomes of random experiment. Experiment which we try, its outcomes are called the set. Sample space. Understood? Any doubts? The sample space is generally denoted by U or S. In probability, we will not denote from further U as a U. We will tell it sample space. Okay? And S also. The element of sample space are called sample points. All 1 to 8 in a bracket. That whole bracket is called a sample space. But inner 1 is called a sample point. Individuals are called sample points. And whole bracket is called a sample space. When we will do some more sums, we will make it more clear. Okay? There are two types of sample space. Finite sample space and infinite sample space. Let's first look to finite sample space. A sample space which has a countable or a finite number of elements is called a finite sample space. We know what is finite and infinite so it is easy to understand. Finite means the numbers which we can count. The elements are countable then it is a finite sample space. For example, sample space obtained by throwing a balance scale. There are six possibilities, right? So we can count it. So it is a finite sample space. But when it comes that we cannot count it, then it will come over in finite sample space. A sample space which does not have countable elements is called in finite sample space. Let's take an example. What is in finite sample space? If you have more such examples, then you can share it with me in comment box. The sample space of an experiment of drawing a card from the pack of 52 cards until the ace of heart is obtained. See how many of the cards we are having here. But we want ace of a heart. So we have to make pack shuffle and shuffle and take outcomes. We don't know when will the come. Yes, it will come definitely. But on which number of event it will come, we don't know. Ace is inner the 52 cards. So it will come, but when will it come, we don't know. So it will take infinite of times. We shuffle, we shuffle 52 times. But might be it not come because some other cards come two times. So such events are infinite sample space. We cannot mention such sample space. In a box, they are infinite. Let's take some experiment to know this pattern. You have to take a coin, any 1 rupee or 2 rupee coin and then toss it. Any one outcome is going to obtain out of two possible outcomes, right? Either head or either tail. I hope we assume that the coin does not stand on edges, okay? So we will get head otherwise tail. Okay, so what this event is called? It has a chances. So it is called a random event or a random experiment we are going to do today. Okay. What comes head or tail to you in this experiment? Tell me. Don't forget to tell the sample space. Now we will learn how to write a sample space. As I earlier told, sample space can be denoted as a U. So we will write under the bracket H and T are its possibility in a shorter form head and tails of R H and T. 
or either you can write if you want to put e first no issues e and h but what we will say h sample point okay it is called a sample point and whole bracket is called a sample space do you like this experiment let's do one more such experiment take and dice and throw it note the number appearing on its upper face which number comes on its upper in any one outcome among this possible outcomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 will be okay i have currently turn my dice and i got it 3 what you got it tell me quickly the sample space can be written once again i explain you how to write sample space so you get clear with this concept u sample space then in a bracket you have to always use a curly brackets to write okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes all have this dice only you can look in the images also 1 2 3 4 5 6 if you throw two dice together then it will be 36 you can do that also tell me what you get in two dice together okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 are individually sample point and whole bracket denoted as a sample space i hope this concept is explained to you now we are going to start some in next video till any questions or doubts then you comment me down i will definitely try to solve all your questions and doubts don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel aim sky for getting more such videos don't forget to press bell icon so you get daily notification i hope you like our video thank you for watching and any doubts any queries any time comment down i will definitely try to solve it and stay tuned in next video i am going to make some yes theory is very important so i explain theory in this one but now we are definitely going to do some bye bye